In this tutorial, we're gonna help you create somebody like this. We're gonna start with Duik. I'm gonna teach you the basics. So enjoy. We're gonna rig this character with Duik. We're gonna start with the arms. I choose here the arm front. We're gonna isolate it. Press Y, move the anchor point up to kind of the center of that this path. Then we're going to go to the puppet pin tool and we're going to call on his shoulder, his elbow, wrist, and hands. Then we're going to go down to the lair, open up these drop downs. We're going to name, we're going to name it. So this is the front wrist, no hand. One's front, wrist, front, elbow, front, shoulder. Once you're done, click all of them, L and shift, create some bones. What we're gonna do is click on the wrist, click controller. I'm gonna make this blue and then create. It creates a controller on my wrist. Now I'm going to select my wrist, elbow, shoulder, and then hold down command and click the wrist and then click on IK. And then you can just click create on two layer IK control and then you have your inverse kinematic. Before I move it, I'm gonna click the wrist, go to the effects and I'm going to uncheck the auto stretch and the checkbox on the goal. I'm going to pick whip the hand to the wrist and then the shoulder to the arm. And then another, so right now, oh, another thing I'm gonna click on the wrist and then go to zero. And what that does is this position is now connected to the position zero, zero. So if I ever wanna move it back, I just type in zero, zero. Right now we have it done. If, what I like to do is I like to stiffen up the arm. So I click on the arm and I hold down the puppet pin tool, but go to the puppet starch tool. And then I just kind of create some starch within the layer like this. And so what it does is it makes it so it's stiffer. For these purposes, we're gonna call it good, but you can always go into the layer and move around these points so that if there's some creases that you don't want in there, um, I'll delete one and just see. You can always readjust it. There's a big crease right there. I don't want that. Maybe I'll add another one, take it away. You can play around with it for a while to get it where you want to. So let's do the other arm. So arm behind, let's isolate it. It's the same type of deal. We're gonna move this anchor point to center, eyeball it. Go to the puppet pin tool, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hand, go to the mesh, and then deform, and let's rename this behind hand, behind wrist, behind elbow, behind shoulder. It's important that you name these different from the last one. I'm going to click on all of them and then hit bones. And then we see we have our bones. We're gonna go to the wrist, make a controller. Just like the last one. I'm actually gonna move the controller down so I can hit the wrist, elbow, shoulder while holding down command and wrist. Then type in IK, that's okay. Create. I'm gonna turn off my stretch, turn off my checkbox. I'm gonna move my hand. I'm gonna pick up it to the wrist. 
pick up the shoulder to the arm. I'm actually gonna create the starches right now. And then going to see what we have. I think that's okay. I'm going to zero this out. It should be zeroed out. Perfect. So we've done that. Okay, let's move on to the legs. So we'll go to the leg front, isolate it. Oops. Type in Y, move this up here, and it really doesn't matter for these purposes, but I'm doing it. And then I'm gonna click on the thigh, on the knee, on the ankle, and then kind of on the ball of the foot, and then on the toe. And then I'm gonna go to the mesh and the deform. I'm gonna name all these. So this is the front foot, this is front toe, uh, front foot, front ankle, front knee, front thigh. After I'm done with that, I'm going to grab all of them and then create some bones. And then I'm going to actually click on the ankle for the control. Hit the control, create my control and go up, there it is, move it down to here. And then I'm going to highlight just three and then the controller. So the three that I'm gonna highlight are ankle, knee, and thigh, and then the ankle again. I'm gonna hit the inverse kinematics, boom, I have it. Um, so stretch, I'm gonna turn it off. And then ankle, I'm gonna turn that. So this is kind of tricky, but I'm going to pick up the toe to the foot, and then the foot to the ankle, and then the thigh to the leg. And what that does is if I go to the foot and hit the rotation, now it controls the foot bendy stuff. I'm actually going to go to it and create some starch already to stiffen it up. That should be good. Let's test it out. Oh, it's bending the wrong way, so I'm going to click on that button, the clockwise, and it goes the right way. Cool, I think that's, um, that's good enough. We didn't click the center on that one. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna hit the zero. Every time I'm going back, I'm just hitting Control Z, as you guys probably know. Okay, so that one's done. So let's move on to the leg behind. Leg behind, we're gonna isolate it. We're gonna move this up here and we're going to create our pins so one right here on the knee on the ankle on the ball of the foot on the toe we're going to open these up and name this behind toe behind foot behind ankle behind me behind thigh and it's really important to name these different from any other pins that you have that is why I'm distinguishing between behind and front okay we select all those we create some bones created some bones and then I'm going to select the ankle and make a controller. 
I'm gonna color this a little bit different. So I'm gonna color it, um, let's see, we'll just do magenta. And then I'm gonna create a controller right there. Controllers up there, and all the way down. Oh, come on, there we go. And then we're gonna select the the three, so the ankle, the knee, and the thigh in that order, and then also, lastly, the ankle control. The IK, two layer IK in gold, correct. Boom. And I'm gonna pick up the toe to the foot, and then the foot to the ankle, and then the thigh to the leg. And then I'm just gonna create my starch right now. Starching it to make it stiffer. There you go, we like starch. Boom. Okay, uh, let's test, test this out. Actually, let's go click on the control, go to stretch, and then we're gonna click off auto stretch. And then we're gonna click off the goal as well. Let's test it out. It's going the way we want to. I'm gonna call that good. Control Z it. And I'm just gonna set this to zero. You can see when I press zero, it zeroes it out. Great, so we have the arms. We have both the arms, um, both the feet. If you want to make the back bendable, I'll show you how to do that. So we'll click the body isolate it move the anchor point down here and we're gonna um, take three pins one at the bottom one near the ribs and one near the neck we're gonna open up and name these um, body top body middle, body uh, lower, select all three, hit bones, and then so what this does, well, if we just still isolate it, if I click the middle, oh, what we have to do is we have to click the top, Pick up it to the middle, pick up the middle to the lower. What this does now is it kind of it just makes it bendable. And so this works if we pick whip corresponding body parts to the body top layer. So the arms, anything that was connected to the body needs to be connected to the body top layer. So our leg was connected to the butt, don't have to worry about that. But the, the arm is connected to the body top layer. The head is connected to the neck, so the neck needs to be connected to that. Let's see, neck instead of the body, body top layer, arm body top layer and then these two we connect to the body with the body top layer. So what that does let's go to the middle and now we have he's just doing limbo. Um, if we really want to um, we could create a controller for that. So click on the middle controller make this dark gray, actually dark background, so we'll make it yellow, no, I'm making it red, I can't even see red, heck, we're just going to do black, and then I think our body middle, see what it's connected to, it's connected to the body lower, uh, so we have to 
connect this to the body metal controller that we just made right here and then we have to connect this one to the body the body lower and then if we open up this it should give us in the limbo state now if you don't want those arms to move then what you just need to do is get those to none and then now we get the body middle and stretch that's how you do a bendy back to finish it off you just need to connect the body lower to the body and that way from the butt if we go to our yeah from the butt we rotate it you rotate it down body middle get it up like that yeah and that's the basics of rigging i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions let me know